Yeah, that's that's the question that we also want answers for. So, uh, you know, see, within within let's say uh, uh, <coughs> a river bank, okay, the kind of sorts of minerals that will be very close to the water body and even far away probably will differ. Then there are uh, certain things which you know somehow uh, wants to feed on these you know rocks which are wet. So I'm sure the rocks will have different mineral contents, right? So if someone is to analyze that. You know, See, why I feel that they may be picking up some microorganisms which help them in digestion of whatever that uh, they because uh, so far means nobody has analyzed the salt, so called salt content in any of these samples. Salt means many salts, magnesium chloride, calcium, sodium, potassium, you have number of uh, anions and cations. So you have to first link it to some metabolic activity or defense activity or some sort of biochemical activity. So if it is only question of sodium potassium ions, then we have to study the differential performance of sodium potassium pump in male and female butterfly. The females may be more efficient in conservation of the electrolytes. So and they, uh, they might get it from the males as well. And secondly, if because see basically all the uh, these uh, species need sodium and potassium to maintain the isotonic balance of the cells. So it all depends on how much energy a male butterfly spends and a female butterfly spends. What is your opinion? Who is more active? Males are, males are more active. Exactly. So since males are more active in butterfly world, naturally the males need to get the extra surplus source of sodium and potassium. So may, it may not have to do anything with mating because mating is not for days and weeks. It may be just few microseconds or seconds or maybe one minute. How, how, how prolonged is the mating in a male-female butterfly? Uh, sometimes a uh, couple of days. Days. Yeah, yeah. They, they remain attached to all of that, 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 is, that is very objectionable in the sense. I mean, uh, in that yeah, case. There are, there, are, there, are, there are records of. Uh, it's, it's a published record of some species, not in India. Uh, something like 14 or 15 days. 14 or 50 days mating means that would create a huge amount of salt loss. Of course, I have not seen the original papers, but I think the salt leaks and all have to do with sodium potassium only yeah, because yeah. other things calcium and all will come from nectar or some other uh, this one tissues and uh, this i believe it is sodium potassium so if the question is the sodium potassium why do butterflies you know females it, no the males why do they choose a particular area to fill up one of my field observations is that the are closer to water because they have got longer legs so you know the smaller butterflies probably probably get submerged where this no, another theory or hypothesis that I would like to put forward goes like this. So, if you see more than one individual or say uh, a congregation of butterflies uh, taking salt or whatever it is, first of all we have to have definite proof of their uh, intake through the proboscis. Okay, we have to prove that, that they are indeed taking up something from them. Suppose there is a mimic aggregation pheromone which is present in the soil which mimics their aggregation behavior then because of the emission of that aggregation pheromone the male the, the only the male receptors will pick up that aggregation aggregation pheromone from that site and they will congregate there and we will believe that they are leaking something so first you have to rule out that there is no mimic molecule aggregation uh, pheromone in that because aggregation pheromone brings the entire uh, identical species together. It is species specific. Yeah. Understood. So one has to rule out under control condition there is no aggregation mimic molecule. And you know what happens is in any decaying matter, in any decaying vegetation, especially near river banks, wetlands and all, this type of small volatile molecules in decaying matter are always present. Hundreds of these. So some of these, because they come from vegetation decay. So hundreds of these may be picked up in that gradient which that chemical forms in that habitat. And that may be olfactory receptors or chemoreceptors may be picking up the butterflies, may be simply going there in that direction. And as long as that gradient doesn't disappear, they are there, sitting there. 
aggregating without communicating anything. So, this is just a hypothesis. I am not in a position to test it, but I am just offering it free of charge.